right y'all we are back with another video this time i'm showing you how i slayed this lovely blonde patch wig let's get into it what is going on youtube it's your girl easy breezy and i'm back with another hair sponsor thank you so much genius wigs for sending me this dark brown well 1b lace front unit now as y'all can see i did a platinum blonde patch on the left side of the wig now i don't have a video of me dyeing it but it was really simple all i did was use a 40 volume developer with some bw2 bleach and i applied two different processes on it and it got this light so with this wig when i got it in the mail it did come pre-customized but i did have to do my own bleaching and plucking but it wasn't that bad um the hairline wasn't that thick at all so the customization process was really easy so as you can see i already applied my stocking cap and did my two layers of liquid lace glue now we're sticking on this wig and y'all mm, 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 this hairline is already looking amazing All right, cool, so the wig is on and now I'm taking my medium brown lace tint foam and applying it to the entire hairline so we can get her skin to match that lace perfectly. Now, the thing is, right, if I can redo this, I think I would give her a light brown lace tint instead of the medium because I feel like the medium was a little bit warm on her. So I'm letting all of y'all know that if you want to get your lace tint foams from galaxygirlhair.com and you're a little bit confused about your color, like you don't know if you're light brown or medium brown, then I strongly suggest you get one shade lighter. And the reason for that is, is because the lace tint foams are so potent. So even though it may look a certain way on the bottle, it really ends up a tad bit darker once you apply it. All right, um, I do see a little bit of glue under the lace and I completely know how that happened. I put two layers on that were a little bit too thick and I put the wig on before it totally dried. <laughs> but it's okay because after I do her baby hair and, you know, mold her wig and sit her under the dryer, it's going to turn clear. So I do want this blonde to show a lot. I don't want to just keep it on one side. So I'm doing a side part and I'm splitting it right in the middle of this blonde patch. All right, so we parted the hair. I took my tweezers and plucked that part so it was a little bit more wider and more defined. Now I have my tropical root setting foam and I'm applying it to the top of the wig so we can mold it and make it nice and flat. All right, y'all, it's baby hair time. Now, I <clears throat> I have a confession. I like the, you know, type of baby hair that I do because, I mean, I don't miss, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But ooh, one thing that I want to start doing is I want to start, like, changing up my baby hair style. Like, instead of always doing it with the gel, I want to do more fluffy baby hairs, you know, more curly baby hairs, like just something a little bit different than what I'm used to but you know once I find like a good technique it's like I stick with that for like months and months like years almost so it's all good <laughs> today we're using the gel again but we're gonna kill it so whatever but to be quite frank though you know it really just depends on what you want like some girls do like the fluffy baby hair look and they can recreate it themselves at home but other girls like their baby hairs to stay in one place for two weeks <laughs> so if you want that fluffy baby hair look then you can either do the baby hairs with like setting foam or maybe hairspray but if you want your baby hairs to stay in one place and don't move 
then you need your liquid lace gel from galaxygirlhair.com. All right, so because the gel is water-based, um, it's wet and it will lift that lace up. So before I go to the other side, I'm gonna hit it with the blow dryer just so it stays in place. All right, let's cover this up and sit her under the dryer for approximately 15 minutes and then we're gonna style. All right, let's carefully remove this black wrap and see what we're working with. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, so now that the hairline is nice and flat, it ain't going nowhere. Listen, she would have to aggressively be trying to lift these baby hairs to make a move, okay? Like she would have to jump in a pool to make these baby hairs move because they ain't going nowhere. All right, so now I'm applying my Flyaway Tamer Wax Stick. So when I hit it with the hot comb, it's nice and flat and it gets rid of all the flyaways. All right, when it comes to the hot comb, this is always my favorite part of the install because it's just so satisfying. Like just seeing the hair go from kind of like wrinkled to bone straight, seeing the comb just run across the hairline like that, a little smoke come up. <laughs> Like, it's just so satisfying. It makes it look so much cleaner and just scalpier. So if you want your limited edition pink hot comb, head to galaxygirlhair.com. And right now they are 40% off. All right, so her hairline is looking amazing. The wig is nice and flat, and now it's time to silk press her entire wig. So I'm pulling out my flat iron, and let's just take this row by row. All right, so for all my girls doing their hair at home and you wanna know how you can get your hair a lot straighter when you're flat ironing it, I'm gonna give you three steps to do that. All right, number one, before you even start pressing it out, you gotta make sure your hair is straight or as straight as possible. So blow dry your hair really, really good with like a blow dryer brush or a wig brush and just get it as straight as possible. All right, number two, it's a good idea to always have like a really thin, light flat iron serum in your bathroom, especially when I'm flat ironing like curly hair to bone straight. Those serums really do the trick. And last but not least, every time I flat iron somebody's wig, I'm always running the flat iron down the hair really, really slow. I don't do a whole bunch of strokes on the same piece of hair. I just take it down really slow and I always have the comb in front of it so it can separate the hair before it even touches the heat. All right, so, so far it's looking pretty damn good, okay? So <laughs> I just added some hairspray and I'm really just perfecting it because that's just how I am. <laughs> I can't even see one hair out of place without trying to fix it. 
Now, my model says she wants to do a little bit of layers to give it some movement. So I'm starting like maybe at her mouth and I'm just running those scissors down so we can get some nice flowy layers in here. All right, I'm loving the layers. I'm loving how they're framing her face. So now I'm gonna take my flat iron and just do a little bump in there so we can add a little curl to the end. All right, y'all, let's see what's going on. Okay, I'm loving it. I'm loving the blonde patch. I I see that the medium brown lace tint foam added like some root effect to the blonde, which I'm actually really liking. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but I'm not mad at it at all. So this is the final result and it looks amazing. It looks nice and silky and smooth and I love it. So once again, thank you so much Genius Wigs for sponsoring this video. Now, if you guys want this exact unit, you already know, I'm gonna put all the information in the description below. If you are not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you go ahead and do that and turn on your notifications. See y'all later.